welcome back to the channel. I thought I would come at you with a scrapbook.com haul of stuff I got in the spring, or I should say for the spring. It's still very much winter. But I actually found an additional package reorganizing my craft room. So this one is mysterious to me. I'm guessing it's Christmas themed, but we'll see. Oh, and it is. Although not, we could certainly use it for winter as well. Well, let's see what what we have. Oh, so I got two tree stencils. This one is one is Simon Hurley, and I'm not sure who makes this one. Creative Expressions makes this one, which is uh, you get sort of your tree piece and your snow piece. So I think that would be fun to play with, especially in light of the snow challenge. Same here. You can have basically trees and then snow and then you also have um houses and you have little windows for your houses so you can do sort of a couple different things with this stencil as well and we have freebie i think But we'll see what we got. We got a a Bruce Monroe Happy Mail, and then a couple uh, small scale uh, scrapbook.com alphabet stamps. I don't think either of these were freebies. I, I got these because my friend wanted to do some bullet journaling, and I thought having sort of letters that are sort of the correct size for that would be good. And this I got mostly just for envelopes because it has special delivery and happy mail and stuff like that. But that's the first thing I got. This is mostly winter, and like this I, I actually got for some current projects. I guess I got all this stuff for current or future projects. Because I have the, uh, it's a springy day, um, 2022 Spellbinders kit that we did a couple cards with, but we'll probably continue working through um, once we get more past Valentine's Day. And then I picked up some pops of color for spring and some Ranger Archival cleaning fluid. But that's pretty much all that's in here. Um, this I got for the Better Press investigations to come. And then I got these and I actually found this cleaning well, my craft room. So I have a really good sort of a couple different pinks and some other like two pinks and a purple and just a lot of cute spring colors of the pops of color, which I have a holder for, but don't use very often because initially I couldn't figure out like how the actual lids came off. So, but that's maybe a fun story for another time. And I did get some spring card stock. Maybe some of the holiday hauls, this one seems very restrained, you know, like I only got a handful of things. So, I got some distress sprays, basically in pink, blue, and green. Oh, here we go. To go along with some of our distressed ink blending experiments. And they're all in basically summer color, spring and summer colors. So those kind of go with pops of color. What else did we get? We got a packing slip. Um, this was the spring color card stock. Because I wanted to get something that was... Like a full pink variant, like gradient. This has core dyed in canvas texture. I guess we'll see what canvas texture is. Then I picked up some uh, pink sand skull binders, which is, um, I think it's a really good pink. It's a very cotton candy pink, if that's kind of your vibe. And. I think a couple freebies. So this was a freebie. 
this Colorful Life paper. See if we can't look at this a little bit. I didn't know with the other two because they're basically just pink, which is not super exciting to look at, but these are pretty neat. Um, especially as freebies. I like them. They're very rainbowy without being rainbowy. I mean, you could use them for art stuff too, but they have some really nice rainbow gradients, which I actually didn't have in paper. So especially as a freebie, it's a pretty good deal. And then I got some alt new glitter card stock. Oh, this is interesting. They have them in almost um, like they're very small sheets. No real glitter. You get five of each, but sorry, four of each. These are really nice. They're all pinks, obviously. Well, this isn't quite a pink, but they're sort of pink family colors, but uh, very shimmery. Wow. Those are much nicer than the uh, the Michaels cardstock, although they're also, you know, probably at a different price point, but, but I don't know. I, I think these will be pretty cool. Um, I'm thinking I may use these as our donut stamp set. And then I got some Winter Critter dies from Karen Berniston. These are really cute. They're really good focal point size because they're one, basically one and three quarters inches. So you have a bear, you have a penguin, and you have a hedgehog. The hedgehog is kind of set up like a bear with a fancy, like it's as it, you basically do the bear for both, but then you have sort of these fancy extra pieces that you can put on. Oh, that's clever. And then the penguin hat is really just also the bear, it looks like. Yeah, because you have the sort of penguin face plate. Oh, no, the penguin's a totally separate die, I guess, because you have a penguin outline and then the penguin face. I was like, wow, if they did it all from one die, I was going to be really impressed. Anyway, but that's what I picked up from Spellbinder, or sorry, from scrapbook.com, even though this is Try reading the cardstock name. Um, so those will probably make some appearances in some of the projects to come. Anyway, thanks for checking this out, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.